what is repel effect we all would have heard about repel effect in our healing also we talk about repel effect we do something and it leads to something else and that leads to something else so every small action and thought will lead to bigger effect that is called repel effect but what is repel effect whom do you repel and whom do you get repelled with that feeling of i don't like this person this person is not good i don't want to talk to this person i don't like certain kind of people all these i have termed it as repel effect you won't find it anywhere i think just i just coined it relating it to repel effect repel is where you create big massive impact with your small action or thoughts or deeds but repel is totally internal you feel that repelling feeling and that also causes ripples it causes ripples in your mind negative ripples start happening the moment you meet some people you don't like them some negativity comes up why does this happen and how to deal with it today i'll be sharing in this video so i hope you understood the repel effect where you feel repelled or you repel certain people it can happen both ways we also don't like some people we feel some negative vibes coming to us it may be a new person or it may be a person you are already acquainted with a friend a relative a family member somehow every time the interaction is very negative and it leaves a very bitter um, experience you you feel a bitter experience whenever you interact with them so why this happens with certain kind of people and also certain situations you don't want to go to a certain place i don't want to go there i don't like that place somehow every time i go there i feel depressed and sad so all this i have also faced and i have analyzed and i have healed myself so that is why i want to tell you more about it and how you can heal yourself and be more at peace with this world as long as you live you are meant to live with peace and happiness and you know achieve bigger goals in life these things trouble you so much that they take you away from your path of achieving whatever you want from your life because you are always focusing on these negative energies negative people so it does not help you in any way rather it pulls you back from your goals hi i am veena bk i am a inner healing coach for moms over 45 plus and today i'll be talking to you more about this repel effect why you hate certain people why certain people hate you or why you feel uncomfortable in certain situations so mainly about the people i'll be focusing you can relate it to situations places and your environment anything you want but in general i'll be focusing more about other people because through other people only these things happen if you want to uh, meet a person whom you don't like to meet then that whole place seems very negative to you if the person is good somehow it becomes bearable in general uh, so i'll take this example and i'll be sharing why this repel effect happens so first and foremost these energies don't match if you are a different kind of a person you are having a different energy frequency we all are energy any physical matter living non living is all energy this has been scientifically proved uh, though we can't see our energy we are all vibrating in a certain kind of energy that is why we have adapted this physical form and other matter whatever you see in the physical world they are having their own energy frequencies so you are frequency your frequency is different and that person's frequency is entirely different and totally opposite maybe so that is why they don't match because of the energy mismatch this repel effect happens that i don't like this person i am not comfortable with him or her so this is one factor and coming to the second factor i have made some points i'll just refer to it and then explain to you if you believe in previous births and karma you are meant to learn something with this negativity that is why though you don't want that you are somehow inviting it to your life and it is happening to you like moms tell me why are my children not listening to me why is why does my husband not understand me my mother in law is troubling me my relatives are not giving our share of property whether it's financial relationship or your child's education related you are in some turmoil why does this happen every negative situation is bringing you some lesson so if you believe in previous births this is one of the reason those people come to you in next birth also if there is something unresolved 
lessons not learned previously these situations or people come to you to teach some lessons so that you progress in life universe is interested in our progress spiritually we are having we are spiritual beings having a physical experience we are not physical being having spiritual experience we are basically spiritual beings in this physical world having a physical experience so whatever you do it will lead you to spirituality whatever you experience is again a spiritual experience you may be thinking it is about this person and me we are having some quarrel or difference of opinion but there is a bigger lesson doesn't god know better doesn't universe know what's best for you aren't you praying to clear those negative circumstances still if it is happening what does it mean universe wants it wants it to happen your destiny is meant to go through this experience so that you learn some lessons and you evolve you evolve and then you become the shining light for others maybe that may be the bigger purpose we don't know the bigger purpose so this previous birth karma if you believe in this aspect that may be one of the reasons for this repel effect why you are having problems with certain people and coming to the third point yeah this is quite funny you meet a person it may be first time you are meeting him or her you just say hello and their mannerisms or their body language or their way, their way of speaking dressing you just don't like them for no reason we don't like certain kind of people without any we don't know anything about them we are meeting them for the first time but that first impression is somewhat i, I feel not okay with this person have you experienced it i met him for the first time i didn't like him i don't know why or i spoke to her and i don't know i, I am not connecting so why does this happen this happens because there is already a person in your life you may remember that person or not who looks similar who has certain similar mannerisms and they do not go you do not get along well with them something has happened earlier you may remember you may not remember this person may be from your childhood like for example an authority figure a teacher whom you disliked in school and suddenly after all these years even though you may be much older and you meet a person who resembles that person about whom you still carry that emotion what you felt when you interacted with that person something is not right here that person doesn't like me or i don't like that person and your anger or fear some emotion is there about the other person and when you meet a very uh, totally new person and this person is not them but has certain kind of resemblance or similarity to that person it may be any any feature either facial features or like i said body language the way they talk the way they dress instantly your mind connects to that person this is not very conscious this is unconsciously you remember that person and that comes up in your mind and repel effect starts happening with this new person whom we have met just today without realizing few seconds if computers can work so well within few seconds so much data they can throw and analyze and do various things your body is better than any super computer your brain is what created that computer imagine how powerful you are so within micro milliseconds all these thoughts happen and you start disliking that person for no reason this may be one of the factor so in the context of your life what is happening you can analyze each of these facts and accept what you feel is true in our community we have a ma healing community we believe in open minded learning whether you like it or not just learn first then you accept or reject you have full freedom to reject whatever the idea or thought i am sharing or whatever you come across in the healing so again i reiterate that factor here also so see whatever i share with you listen to it introspect on it if it applies to you receive it otherwise no problem you just let it go that's it so coming to the next fact why do some people have a repel effect within you or why some circumstances come to you even though you want don't want it there is something called a mirror effect so these are all my terms what i have given to my observations having worked with moms for the past 3 years what they have shared what healing i have done based on that i am sharing all this and based on my own life experiences of course more than 25 years i have been practicing some spirituality meditations therapies 
based on and i have undergone my own life is i am also a human ups and downs ups and downs all this whatever i share is speaking from my heart from my experiences i need not invent it because i have lived that life so this is called mirror effect what i have named it as mirror effect this is very intriguing and very surprising to many moms when i share with them first time and then they realize ha huh, yes this is called mirror effect where whatever is inside that is what you are seeing this is a bit difficult to accept resistance comes up i don't want this kind of person how can i attract that person i am not like them i don't want to be like them but there is something in yourself inside you that is attracting this kind of a person normally in our outer world we blame the other person that person is bad that person has these undesirable qualities and i don't like that person the entire blame or responsibility you want to place on that person but here i am taking your focus back inside you it is like a mirror what is inside you when you see the mirror you see yourself you don't see anyone else unless someone is standing behind your back so it is like that what what circumstances you are facing the persons you are meeting in your life they are no one else but you what are you inside you attract that kind of people so if there is negativity in you if there is anger in you you will meet angry people if there is sadness in you you will meet sad sad people you attract them you get attracted to them so somehow this is happening so check if there is that factor inside you that you are attracting this kind of people especially if it is a repeated pattern if everyone most of them you meet are having this repel effect like you feel repelled by them or constantly every day every often it is happening you have mother in law problem understanding issues with husband or arguments with children if it is a repeated pattern what does it mean it means something that this is happening again and again and again work on yourself so that you change the external circumstances so you need to look inside and realize what i am projecting from inside that is what i am attracting whether it is people situation or anything around me is already inside me that is how i am attracting this is a very deep concept it takes lot of time to explain maybe i'll do another video about this mirror effect what i am speaking but in brief i have told you it is already inside you so you are projecting that and you are attracting the same kind of uh, people and having that repel effect outwardly you are having repel effect inwardly you are actually attracting you are inviting them into your life right and and this mirror effect happens because of your self doubts your fear whatever emotion is there inside because of that it is happening and a very important factor you do not know how to forgive yourself or others there are unresolved conflicts inside unresolved situations which is not fully healed so you are attracting so as long as you don't learn to forgive yourself first sometimes we hold ourselves responsible for so many things and that guilt regret or shame keeps coming back and that is how you have this mirror effect you are projecting outside even without realizing it is there inside you have not forgiven yourself you have not let go of whatever happened already and you couldn't do anything better about it you did something but you are not happy about it but you are not able to let go so first forgive yourself and forgive others not for their sake you are not doing them a favor sometimes we hate the person so much we think forgiveness is a gift i am giving to them why should i give it because this person is hurting me so much i am feeling repelled by that person this repel effect is very strong how can i forgive that person forgive not for their sake but for your sake you deserve to forgive them for your peace of mind i'll repeat forgive them for your sake not their sake don't even go and say sorry to that person or nothing to be done with that person or don't even tell i have forgiven you just in your mind be very clear and you know it is like breaking the cords we say in our healing we do is breaking the emotional cords it's a very huge uh, healing uh, therapy so that has to be done and you have to really really forgive that person and the self check you can do when you remember that person that anxiety or that anger does not arise in your mind for that person you are very calm from inside that's a self check measure if you have fully forgiven that person 
even if the thought of that person comes you won't be upset or agitated from inside and that applies to you also you deserve your own love forgiveness understanding acceptance please do that for yourself also comment on this video i'll give you the simple technique straight forward technique how to forgive yourself and others i'll give you just comment below this video i'll share the simple technique with you and you have not yet healed it shows if there is this repel effect and especially with repeated patterns same people troubling you same kind of people coming they may be different people also but every time this happens with me you know some people say uh, i meet so many people i can't trust them i don't get trustworthy people or people cheat me every time why is this happening with me repeatedly and or certain situations may be repeating in your life so that means that you have not healed from inside and you are carrying that burden so that healing is most required unless you do that unless you uproot it from the root it will keep growing fruits right so this is that kind of a situation so healing has to happen and that burden has to go then you will stop having this repel effect and you will stop projecting and inviting these situations or people into your life so i shared in brief about the repel effect if you are interested in your own healing i am here to help you to guide you i'll leave a link in the comment to join my free master class healing session for moms do join and click the link and register yourself take care